I've always been someone that has loved learning new hobbies, but I've always struggled sticking with them. When I start a new hobby, I like to go all in. When I wanted to start running, I bought a really nice pair of running shoes and a brand new watch to track all my runs. I was actually supposed to run a half marathon yesterday, but it turns out that just buying the watch doesn't make you a runner and you still have to train. So this watch is a Garmin Fenix 7 and it has an unbelievable amount of features, but the main one I wanna actually focus on is the training plans that are built into this watch. I ran a 5K yesterday and my time was slower than what most beginners do at my age. I looked up a lot of times online just to see what a beginner runner would do versus what an elite runner would do. And let's just say mine was embarrassingly slow and I can only go up from here. So not only do I just wanna show you the training plans that this Garmin watch has to offer, but I also just wanna see what's possible in 10 weeks if you just stick to a program. First things first, this is the, the app that you can download once you get your Garmin watch. And like I said, I wanna to go to yesterday's run. And this is what it looks like. Um, so I ran 3.11, average heart rate of 151, 11, 11 minute a mile pace, which is pretty slow. Um, total time was 34 minutes and 49 seconds. So not only can you see all that information, but you can really break down basically anything that you would ever need to know. Um, looking here, you know, it's, a lot of this doesn't make sense to me yet because I'm just starting, but I'm sure as I go, I'll probably learn more and more as I go along. Um, you can see what each individual lap time was. You can see I started at 11.08, finished at 10.43, um, with a really slow one in the middle, and I there was a hill there, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, you can see that there's just a ton of different information that you can get from this app, and you know, but like I said, the main thing I want to focus on is actually setting up the training plan for your first race or if you're just trying to improve. All right, so I want to set up a race or set up a training plan. So what I'm gonna do is go to more in the bottom right hand corner. I am going to training and planning to training plans. And here it's, it goes pretty, it's pretty straightforward from here on out. So I'm gonna select running for myself. I know that you know I've tried to train for half marathons and I just never stuck with it. So I'm gonna start with a 5K. So you can see that it ranges from six to 20 weeks, three to five workouts a week, and it kind of takes you through all the different plan details. So I'm gonna set up a plan and you have to accept some terms and conditions. So right now I'm probably only running about one to five, one to five miles a week. So that's what I'm gonna select. Um, we saw that my time was 11.11, so, you know, I'll, I'll round down just to 11 because I, I really do wanna see how much I can improve. So select what you'd like to achieve when your training plan is complete. Yeah, I'd like to run with a time goal, um, you know, so mine was 34.49. You know, I would love to see if I can get down to the 30 minutes. So 9.39 pace, um, that would be a pretty darn big improvement for myself. So I'm just gonna go with that and see what happens. So here you can select, you know, what kind of fits your schedule, four to five workouts a week, three workouts a week. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select this bottom one, Greg McMillan. And for me, uh, I know the days that work best for me are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So your plan includes a long run on most weeks, which day works best for you to do this run. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it on Saturdays, that makes sense. And when you do this, it'll actually give you a bunch of different races at the time frame that your plan is supposed to end. So in this case, you know what? I'm just gonna do my own event, um, create my own event, your 5K race. So the suggested date is January 27th. So that's plenty of time. So I'll, yeah, I'll just go with that. And let's create the plan. So then it's gonna do some thinking and then it's gonna tell me that my plan starts tomorrow. That's that, that's how easy it is to get started on this app and, and create a plan. Um, from here, like, like I see tomorrow, my workout is a benchmark run and then you can actually look at what the different runs are for the week. So once I do this benchmark run, it's gonna tell me what my future workouts are. So I'm not only gonna focus on running in future videos, I have a ton of different hobbies, whether it be tinkering around on my truck or just doing all sorts of different hobbies. I'm gonna bring back a lot of things that I used to love doing back when I was younger and you know, there's a lot of things that I wanna to try today that I just have never 
gotten out of my comfort zone to do so. If this is something you enjoy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and comment below how much time you think I can shave off by January 27th. I'll see you in the next one.